should have been there five minutes ago, Mike. Burnside will do his nuts. You know what he's like when he's got to hang about. Sod Burnside, I can't find the keys. Come on. Got him. Where is he? There's what? The 1305. Running late. How late? Off and up. Thanks for nothing, pal. Where's you, mate? So what's the name of this geezer Burnside's got to pick up? Jarvis. Well, he sounds like a real carrot, can't you? Yeah. Who informed? I've no idea. I'll get on to them, find out. Okay. Sierra Oscar from 8-5, are we receiving over? Here we go. Fit, ready and able to chase the girls again, eh? Yeah, I suppose you're right, Viv. I should look on the bright side. I'll come in and hold your hand if you like. Okay? Can you hear me? The police are here now. He fell over from standing position, did he? Right, well, can you do me a favour? Put your hands either side of his head and try and stop him from moving. <laughs> all right, that's a nasty cut you've got up there, but I'm sure it's going to be all right. Can you hold your hanky over your head like that and try and keep it pressed against the cut, all right? All right, mate. We're going to help you out. Don't worry. Can you hear me? Now, come on, try and talk to me. Can you hear me? Is there anywhere else that's hurting you? Jarvis. Inspector Burnside. I thought your train was late. I'll come on an earlier one. I want to do a bit of shopping. Get a present for the wife. Oh, of course, yeah. Well, uh, do you mind if we get going? Honey, I've got a couple of the lads waiting for us down on the plot. Plot? Near the geezer's drum. In the vicinity of the house where your man is shacked up. Well, I'll get over here. I'll put it right over him. It's going to have to go right over his head. That's it. Right. Now, get his hand. This is it? Yeah. I thought you two would never turn up. Yeah, he's in there. All right? All right. All right. On your way, then. Was it Archway? Yes, that's what I've been telling you. And he's driven all the way here without stopping? Yes! This geezer we're going to nick for you, James Durham. Set fire to some straw bales, did he? Streets paved with gold, eh? Hardly seems worthwhile going all the way down here for that. Look at all that rubbish. Not exactly a top in offence, is it? Oi, you listening to me? Oh, 
One of your blokes up there said we've got to stabilise the bus because there's too much moving going on while the work's going on, okay? Two, three, out! Okay. Good, all right, now we're going to get in the hole. Yeah. I think someone should take a taxi line to Belgium. Yes. Move this slowly down. Priority. Have you got that same guy? You're the blue one, India. Driver touch. 46. Badly injured. Request accident unit. Over. We're going to be there hours too early, you know. I could always catch up with the out-of-date magazines. Anything to get involved again. Get my teeth into some real police work. Terrorising the public. Terrorising the public. <laughs> <laughs> Opening your front door. James Darren. I've told you, leave it out! Let's have him out today. Lift it back. One, two, three. Let's have him out. Same through. I've got his leg. I've got his leg. Come on. All right, all right, all right. Right, let's have him out today. luck. You've got to go in, Sarge. It'll be all right. If I'm not a copper, I'm a nobody. 
What are you talking about? What if he casts me? There's nothing wrong with you. Can I have a word with you, please? Hey, can I have a word with you, please? Yeah, yeah, all right. He won't be driving the bus again in a hurry. Look, um, has he got a history of illness? Ah, at least not that I know of. How long has he been working for LRT? Oh, about seven years, eh? Right. Um, look, will you inform his wife? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Could be St Agnes's. I'll have to get someone here to drive his route. Have you got that, St Agnes's? It's very difficult at the moment, you know. It's the dollar, isn't it? Drivers are in very short supply, you know. Give me 20 minutes to bin him. I'll see you there. You think you're a bit of an hard nut, don't you? You know I got that train to catch. Don't you worry about your train, mate. Yeah, I told my wife I'll be home for supper. That's a bit naughty back there, wasn't it? She worries if I'm late. Well, I don't give a monkey's whether you're late or not. There's no one to walk the dogs, you see. Shut up. She'll be on her own. I say shut up and listen. And no copper comes on my manor and starts GBHing prisoners in front of me. Have you got that? Right. Now, we'll go and enjoy ourselves for a few hours. I'm sure you'd like to experience a little East End magic while you're down here. You going back to the sticks, telling all your mates what an unsociable lot us met lads are, do we? All right, but I got to catch that train. I mustn't drink too much either. Is there anything about drinking? Uh, taxi If somebody winked at me and whispered in my ear, King Edwards, I would immediately think without any hesitation that someone's about to bung me a lorry load of bent gear. I've never seen anything like this. Whereas you would probably think someone's going to dump a sack of potatoes on your doorstep. And that is the difference between you and me. Am I right? I can't believe it. Better than your harvest supper, eh? No, I much better. Tell me, Sonny. What have you got in that bag? Personal. Oh, she's lovely, isn't she? Come on, what's in there? The old black stockings, suspenders. Beautiful. Your secret will be safe with me. Isn't that right, George? Yes, Mr. Henry. Do you think 
so. It was a joke. First. You're wanted. Back of the neck. Time flies when you're enjoying yourself. Who's down to you? Make sure he doesn't get into trouble. Included in the drinks. Well, you know what you can do with it. Maybe we can work out a discount. Now look, you may be Burnside's big mate. To me, you're just a ponce of the worst kind. Now, if you want to work out a discount on six months' caravan mattress, Steve, then we can talk business. You see that guy just come out? Tall, stocky, tweed jacket. He's got a carrier bag. Big carrier bag. Would you see my receptionist on the way out? Thank you, Doctor. I want to see my husband. Well, you'll have to speak to the doctor. And at the moment, she's with your husband. Now, Mrs. Williams, I'm going to have to ask you this, okay? Was your husband on drugs? And you know the type I mean. Only the kind you get on prescription. My husband is an epileptic. And didn't let on. Didn't declare it. He couldn't. He'd have lost his job, wouldn't he? He'd have become unemployed with a family to feed. Mrs. Williams! He put the lives of his passengers at risk. Mrs. Williams. Now, what do you reckon? He was committing an offence. A month will soon go by, so... Any units in the vicinity of Hampton Street can deal with a disturbance outside the Caspian Club. Oh, no. Thanks for police at a time. We'll deal. I was doing all right. Hey, right, first on the scene. Come on. Hey, Viv. You say so, Sarge? Any other units can assist? 379. Police! Police! Hold up, man. Hold up. Here. Say that. 
Lumbered me. So I got you a present, love. I hope you like it. One hour. That's all I left you. One hour. Listen, love, uh, I might not be home tonight. I'm doing some undercover work for the Met. Yeah, they needed someone from out of town. In one of those near beer drinking places, you know. You read about them. All right, well, uh, I must be off. They're, uh, they're waiting for me. I'll see you soon, love. Bye-bye. Well, I did tell her something to uh, explain this. I want you on the next train out of London. No, not tonight. Sergeant Jarvis is our star witness. We're charging George and the bouncer with assault on him. On him? Plus, procuring girls underage for prostitution, uh, running a brothel. We can throw the book at George. Oh, of course. George is one of your mates, isn't he, sir? Sorry about that, Gun. E-O-L-A-N-D. Oh, you're looking well chuffed with yourself, Sarge. Yep. Just score one off Burnside. You two don't seem too chipper. No. Not a lot of laughs cutting somebody up a squash bus can. Still, it'll all come out in the wash, won't it? Look, next time they want someone nicking down here, make sure they send someone else, will you? Well, I've got to come back down. Give evidence against your friend George. Oh, thanks. Perhaps next time you can take me up the West End, show me some more sides. Thank you. On your bike. Why don't you come up to Matlock then? Show you a few things to make your hair curl. 